everyone, this is Amy. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm trying to, something a little different, trying to do my work on the opposite side of my table because a lot of you are complaining about the glare and trying to see if this makes any difference. So hopefully it does. All right, I'm going to be using 3A Magic Round Brushes. A number 12 and a number 8. All these items will be listed down below as affiliate links. If you want to purchase through those, you're welcome to do so. A fine liner by Westonia and a number eight Deerfoot Stippler. All the paints I use are folk art paints. I'm using Thicket, Aqua, Teal, Calypso Sky, Pale yellow and happy green. All right, so what we're going to start with first, and I've already cleaned off the bottle and it's ready to go. Uh, use soap and water. Once you're done, go over it with rubbing alcohol just to make sure that all the debris is off of it and it's good to go. That'll give better adherence for the paint. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to put my Deerfoot Stippler in the pale yellow. And then I'm just going to come through here and pounce in single colored dots. Just kind of spread them out a little bit. And for the sake of this video, I think I'm just going to stick with doing three. I did more on my paper. But I think I'm just going to stick with doing three. All right. Kind of reverse in the reverse direction here. So. Forgive me if I'm trying to get acclimated here. All right, so then to begin with, I'm going to use the number 12 round brush. I am going to stick it into the, it's the teal. And you can do a little bit into the aqua and come through here and just push the brush down and pull it towards the center. Then I'm going to come through and tap into the lighter Calypso Sky and just push down and pull towards the center and repeat. I'm going to push it down, pull towards the center, come back through and put a, another, another petal right next to it. It's basically creating creating one petal that I'm using the two strokes to create it with. And just come through on the side of it like that. Very simple. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to put those down below. And you can just kind of rotate these as you go. If you want to make them thinner, like this one started out to be, I think I'm going to push, put it down a little bit and make it a little bit thicker. I like that a little better. Very simple once again. And it's okay to get some in the center. I'm actually liking that look. Didn't mean to pull yellow out though. And if you want it to be a little bit brighter, you can even add a touch of white to it if you want. And these are just meant to be just very loose, not anything difficult. It's kind of fun to rotate the colors and put them put them together as a flower. And I don't care how many petals you have, however many you can fit around. Or if you want to leave spaces, you can leave spaces. That's up to you. Or if you want to use a, a smaller brush, you can do that. If you find that it's not as opaque as you want it to be, go back over it. 
for the purpose of this video since this is a bottle that I use just for painting on for videos I'm not concerned about the coverage as much as I would be if it's something I was selling so I'm gonna go through here with my fine liner I normally just stick it in kind of roll it out to get some of the paint off of it and then continue on painting with it but I do try to you know, build up my stems or whatever it is I'm painting with this brush just to make sure it has good coverage. And I like to add other, at least one or two other colors to my stems. Again, just to give it a little mixture of the two colors or three. Like I said, if you want to add in some white, white is a good choice whenever you're trying to make something a little more opaque because there's more pigment to it. Alright, so I'm going to just do some little pulls out from my main stem and just wherever I can find a spot. Doesn't have to be, you know, don't have to do a lot of these if you don't want. And again, I'm just going to go over them to make sure they're a little bit thicker. And when you're pulling them from a stem, you know, you might want to try to blend them in a little bit just so it doesn't look like, you know, they're just kind of plopped there and coming from your stem. So I'm going to set the liner brush aside. The next thing I'm going to do is use the number eight round brush. I'm going to stick it into the greens and the, well, actually the different, The different cut green colors and then start um, creating my petals or petals my leaves all right so I'm just going to come through push it down and pull it now I like to rotate the color some just to keep it interesting and I'm going to stick pretty much on the main stem itself. Because I have some other little ones that I'm going to paint. Like a little bit of that blue in there. Sorry about that, guys. All right, so this is kind of a littler, littler branch than what I had on my original on my paper because I always try to paint my design on paper before I put it on the glass so I'm going to take the number six round brush and just put it into the happy green and then I'm going to come through here and just kind of kind of tap down and yes I am pulling some blue from the the petals of the flower if you don't like doing that, then give it some dry time. Um, that's up to you. I don't mind a little bit of the color crossing over. It's fine. But I'm just tapping in these little, little petals, just a single color. And you could actually even use an alternative color too. You don't have to use green for one thing. But you could use, you know, browns or linen, white, doesn't matter. Just make it interesting. But I'm going to stick with the green for, for the purpose of this video. Then I'm going to come back through here with my liner. And I am on this one going to just do some light, very light stems up into the the leaves and then come through here to attach my smaller leaves and you can actually come outside of the the branch here just with some little pieces just to give it more of a realistic feel I like to use just a com combination of both the greens and just 
very loosely painting. I can put the little stems into these uh, leaves as well. Again, just relax and have fun. I'm sorry, my hand's in the way, I just realized. It's hard when you're a lefty. The world is definitely built around right-handed people. For sure. All right, very simple. As you can see, you know, I hopefully this helped with the glare. I think it may have. I know there's a little bit of glare right now as I'm showing, but I hope that made a difference. Please let me know in the comments if it's better. All right, hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe, hit that notification bell, and prior to leaving, please share this video with your family and friends on your social network. Just hit that share button that you'll find underneath the video, and you'll be good to go. All right, until the next time, please stay safe and healthy, and you have a good one.